Hi, Dan. Hi, Ugly. How are you doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. Um, okay. I'm actually going to move really quick because my computer is going to die soon. I'm going to plug it in while I use it. Okay. No worries. Yeah. Morning, afternoon. How's everybody doing? Hello. Good. How are you doing, Tyler? <laughs> Similar. How's everybody's Sunday going? It's good. Hey, kind, of, kind of just waking up. Ah, nice. <laughs> I assume it's morning for you or sometime yeah, early afternoon. It's 10 a.m. Yeah. It's California. He's okay. PST time. Mm. Gotcha. And it's like evening for you guys already? No. Yeah. Yeah. yeah six o'clock. Wow. Six, six uh, p.m. Yeah. And yeah, seven for our galley. So yeah, uh, we, we, we turn up at late times for this one. <laughs> Honestly, comms calls midnight for me or half 12. Wow. So yeah, I don't do all of them. And yes. one thirty for me. I did it once. Um, but usually I get up at five. You're breaking up there, all golly. Um, does not give any Ah, sorry. Um, can you can you hear me? Yeah, yeah, yeah you just went a little bit robot for a second. It's fine. Uh, okay. <laughs> we all do once in a while. Uh, all, all the joys of the Zoom life and yeah. everything equivalent. Wow. Yeah, you guys are having calls at midnight and one o'clock. That's that's bananas. I mean, yeah, I were doing I were doing comms calls at half twelve. I did quite a few of them, but I'm a bit of a night owl anyway. So I was like up until two a.m., three a.m. Yeah. Uh, there's a few times I've been up until about four and then I'm like, this is really not sensible. So I try not to do that. Yeah. Are there still comms calls happening or no? Not really at the moment. We're kind of uh -huh. covering most of it in the daily call, I think. Mm -hmm. um, I've not seen Dan, I've not spoken to Daniel in a bit, but I think he's just here, there and everywhere. I, can't, I wouldn't mind to catch up with him mm -hmm. just to see what is going on with him. But um, yeah, I've been trying to go to bed at something resembling a reasonable hour for last week mm -hmm. rather than not yeah um okay maybe we give it um uh, yeah it's, well comms call well daily calls are getting a little bit quieter in general so we'll get started and people might turn up we've got two teams here it's better than sometimes can you take notes please I'll get notes. Uh, I'll get crashed out, I think. Oh, how was that weekend, guys? How are we doing? Good, just pretty chill. I'm watching uh, old James Bond movies recently with my roommates. <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. I've been watching Dead to Me. Oh, what's that? Uh, Christine Applegate and... Linda Cardellini. It's about uh, someone who loses her husband to a hit and run. And... Cut off. I got cut yeah, off there. Did. 
we we was fine. I, I'm, I'm um, trying to. Yeah, I'll do notes. You do you do comms or, or you do the call. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. Um, so we'll go ahead and get started. Uh, let's see, what's first thing on the agenda? Uh, That's it. Hello, what's up? Oh golly, dying off, dying off again on the call. Right. Uh, Just doing. Hello. Hi. Hi. You okay, really keep, it, keep, is, keep, is your computer keep, dying or is it a network thing? Do you want me to do you want me to run it? Just because you're struggling. It might be, uh, yeah, yeah. Will you will you will you take over? Thank you. No problem. Uh, All right. I don't really uh, I don't really know any organizational stuff that needs to be said. Um, we're still kind of discussing different things. We've just, I've seen discussions about um, trying to streamline task defini defining tasks and making them more measurable the, when tasks have been defined and who's doing them is something that's been discussed. But I don't really have any more than that. I'm sure the notes will pop up on it at some point. Uh, communications, again, it's been a bit, bit of a quiet couple of days. I've not really seen a lot to say. So we'll leave space for that. Human resources, still not not much going on today on that front. So we'll move on to risk factors. I'm assuming it's kind of very similar to yesterday, but we'll move on for it. Maya? Yeah, right. Uh, today we had a team call. Uh, the new thing is we now have the model that predicts the relevancy of the papers uh, based on triplets that means three sentences around engram, sentence before, sentence containing the engram, and sentence after. At the moment, the model is uh, trained with ULMS, so we are trying to uh, make it more general and based on a raw text. Uh, besides that, we still need a medical uh, medical input uh, on uh, our in urine extractions. They are still not confirmed as far as I understand and that totally blocks us from producing uh, new have data you, um, Have you reached out to anybody when it comes to medical stuff? Uh, nobody, you reached out answers, to... nobody answers like this. Have you reached out to the, the, annota uh, the, the people leading annotation teams? The um, the the two people I don't, I don't really know first of all i don't really know who to reach out so i reached out okay. to people like it's fine i'll um i'll let me just make a task for myself um i'll send some messages out to the annotation leads and they might be able to come back because i mean one of them runs like a, a hundred medical students so if if you need it depends how much if you need annotation stuff or if you just need an ex a few experts to oversee something what which one is it yeah, like uh, annotators, uh, it, it's, it's, it will be next major struggle. And current yeah. major, major struggle is pretty much having uh, a experts that can kind of help us to understand what do we see in terms of uh, terminology. Because it, it's all nice and good, but we have no idea what we are looking at. Um, can I have an example? Just so I can get an idea when I start asking for people, because... Medical. Uh, well. I will. I, I will do very simple. I will send you the instructions that we have, the instructions okay. that we have to be exact, and you will see that it's a lot of terms. Okay. And and obviously, somebody who's more familiar is going to be more effective than someone who has to Google every single term just to work out what it means. 
Yeah, exactly. So if it's really yeah. related or why it was extracted, what is the relation, things like that, you know? Uh, so, yeah, right. And uh, another so, thing... That... So, yeah, you're going to need... I mean, how many... How many... How many pieces how many how much have you got so far that's going to need people to say yes that's good that's bad to help refine this um this data we, set that you've worked through uh that's not uh that's not exactly that at the moment right uh, uh -huh. the, the model we really evaluate ourselves uh -huh. i simply asked uh, michael to run it or on on a different data set make the extractions and if the model predicts that extraction is highly relevant uh, to send it to me i think at this stage i'm already capable of understanding uh-huh because so you've spent enough. enough time reading it now yeah i'm kind of yeah. getting to the same i've spent i spent that much time reading literature and annotation stuff that even i'm starting to get familiar with it so i'm like yeah. right. <laughs> so at least i can tell if it's a risk factor okay yeah. <laughs> like, so you, you, so, but is it just like, so is it kind of related to the UMLS kind of two terms? It, are these terms relevant yes, enough to be considered yes, together, exactly, or are these two terms yes. not relevant enough to be considered together? So, cardiology and heart would be obviously heart and heart, very obvious. But if it's like stomach and cardiology, you'd be like, yeah, that's not really related. That shouldn't be in the same. That bad example, but a concept. Right. 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 So uh, anyway, I will send you. I will send you the extractions CSV later on for you to take. Just take a look and have an idea. Okay. Okay. No problem. I'll have a look at that cool. and then I'll see if. And then if nothing else, I can send that on to a couple of people and go like, "This is the sort of thing that he's looking at." Either you can you do it, or do you know anyone within your circle who could help us? Yeah. And last thing that I wanted to mention, uh, we were working uh with a lot of things like elastic search and now it seems guys are bringing uh, on a table mongodb and things like that and the I think, versions... mango, I think mongodb is just a database i don't think it's anything more than a database system yeah but then the the, the, the code a little bit uh, kind of changes and uh, uh there well, is that's, confusion yeah that's regarding... a discussion between um that's discussion between DevOps and teams and making sure DevOps are developing something that the teams can use or vice versa. So it's a case of making sure the DevOps are developing the backbone and the structure and and the dataverse is built on the same sort of thing. It's all making sure we're all talking from the same sheet. So I'll make a note saying, because um, is, it, is it MongoDB this specifically the problem? MongoDB? There is no, we, we are here. So uh, we check if our code is relevant okay and helps us with the newer versions if not we will try to standardize as standardize the code to be less dependent uh, on various factors okay and yes, yes. various changes but it might be if I, I will get a feedback that we have uh, quite a complications and quite a misunderstanding on what's going on then I will probably need to organize a call of uh, my team and uh, Slava, Lukas, uh, Anton. That would be lovely. Like if I get yeah. the relevant feedback, that will be lovely to uh, to probably do such a call. Yeah, well, I think we just need to make sure that even if it's not a call, that um, that there's, there's discussions between the teams and the and like I say the data sets, dataverse. De DevOps yep. team or to make sure that they're ritually developing things that are useful or if they're thinking that that's the best thing technologically to support your ta your team to be able to integrate their, te um, their, te their technological solutions to your problems, make sure that you can solve them together. Let me kind of a little bit uh, uh, describe uh, probably in a better way the problem. There is a little bit gap, okay? between what uh, data sets and infrastructure teams do and what like my team does. And then it uh, turns out that, for example, some work that we've done right in a specific environment, that some new changes and decisions partially cancel that or require new efforts. 
and there is kind of this lack of communication. Well, oh, we are yeah, kind of, yeah. we are customer of infrastructure teams. Yeah, so that's why that's why they need to make sure that there is that dialogue going on. But it is a it's a balancing act between solving solutions right now and not thinking about it because it's the best in theory the best. But it goes back to like making sure that there's user um, the user experience in the sense that you know people who are joining or people who are like say you guys uh, task teams are kind of customers to infrastructure and and they're diverse in the in the structural sense so it's making sure that they're delivering what you guys need but also if their solutions are long-term more stable or long-term more useful or like like long-term there's long-term reasons to make choices they did they need to keep, loop you guys in before you're developing things that then are going to be outdated in the next generation will change we need to make sure that that sort of discussions are happening so that's sort of a communication coordination problem and i'll see i'll make a note on that as well Okay, thank you so much. That's it. Uh, that's it for 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 me. Um, Dan VT, how are we doing? Hey, life's good. Um, there's life's three good. major. Yeah, we're chilling. Um, there's three major updates. One is that. Uh, yeah, I have that first draft of this kind of Twitter application for the Twitter COVID-19 stream. Uh, Anton and Slava gave some really nice feedback. And so I'm going to do a second draft where I'm more careful about thinking about privacy and like more logistics of the tweets. So I'll, I'll finish that draft today and then I'll sync up with Anton. Second thing is that we had a call just now with the developers who worked on our round one submission. And so now we have, a, I think, a good sense of refactoring the code from our Kaggle notebook from round one, putting it on GitHub and making it very like uh, well documented, making sure that it's kind of uh, open and easy to digest and not just in a Python notebook, maybe instead in like Py files and more like an open source project. Um, so we have some clear directions there. And then the third thing that I've been working on is doing some quality control of those annotations from the different study design types with, for the group that Christine, me, and Imran are leading. And so I need to finish that up, but I'll have that done tonight. Those are all that I have. What was the last one, study design types? You said you got, you, I, I didn't quite, miss, I missed the beginning of it. Well, I didn't miss um, the did, beginning of it, but I, I was writing the previous sentence, so I was kind of only half listening. Yeah, no worries. So I'm just doing some quality control of some of the study design uh, annotations that we got from uh, Iman's team. Uh, okay. So you quality controls, annotations. Uh, have you got any blockers or have you got any needs right now? At the moment, no. I think that we are accounted for and we are okay. Okay. Um, have we got any other teams? We've got Isaac, which is... Who's Isaac? He's patient forecasting. Isaac? Uh, hi. How are you doing? Uh, good. How are you? Steady away. Trying to make notes. How are we doing? Um, so, where you are, what, you know, well, yep. results sure. so far, blockers, and then you needs. So, yeah, um, we're, we're <coughs> beginning to incorporate the mobility data and some of the other temperature data into our models. Um, uh, so that that's going well, and that will probably continue to go on. Um, I have onboarded a couple more people, uh, which has been good. On the other end, I guess, in terms of needs, I'm still kind of wondering. Uh, we have kind of like a temporary setup for getting data now, but um, I'm still wondering about the long-term like uh, data architecture and how we're going to integrate like new daily data and merge it all together in kind of a continual pipeline as it comes in. Um, so, so that's still kind of the big question. But yeah, besides, besides that, we, we are using our current setup uh, uh, effectively for now, and we're working to just incorporate that data and gauge how well our model works with that data. So 
Well, it's the uh, it's the code as ever problematic. Designing for right now, but designing for the future. Which yeah. one do I do the most of? Do I want to try and solve the problem right now, but work out how to fix the oh, problem okay. later on? Okay. It's a it's a it's a developer's problem forever. Wait, wait, you can't um, the, the, uh, the geo. Okay. Um, Ogali, can you mute Carlos? Come to me, please, because I'm not post. That um, you need another package, and I think it begins with a D. I can't remember with D something. Or can make me host, whichever works. Read, like, can you mute? mute or have, make me host, or can you mute Carlos, so we're just not hearing double talk. Um. So, so we need to work out how to be basically stabilize and make the daily updates and pipeline more effective. And that's going to involve probably Slava, Slava and um, Team Geo. Because Geo are kind of, for lack of a better word, our data geo, data set geo pull. So we need to work out how to make that more effective. Is there any other problems you got going on? Do you need any more people? Anything like that? Or is um, no, no, we're good on people for now. Um, uh, at least, like, we have plenty of people to model and work on the modeling. As I said, it's, it's not building clear. The, it's building the data that's the problem right now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it, obviously, if we do take that on, we'd probably need some data engineers or other people to build the data. But I'm hoping Slava and Task Geo can kind of be, like, uh, our data engineering group and kind of get us the data and we just focus on the... Yeah, the I think part of the problem is... Um, it's the logistics of data in, in this, the, the, the logistics of data right now is obvious. There is so many data sets from so many places in so many, in so many forms that, you know, everyone is both overwhelmed with the amount of data that exists and underwhelmed with the amount of data they have compared to what they need to really accurately work. So it's, it's a balancing act to the two, but we'll have to see if we can, um, I said, see what, because I have not, I've not spoke to or heard from Geo in about a week. So we need to really work out what's going on in Geo. If we need someone else running it, we need to recruit for more people, more Geo engine, you know, Geo scientists pulling in the data. I don't know. We'll work something out, but it needs to be, it needs to be dealt with. Um, have we got anybody else who wants to bring anything to the party, Ali? Um, Yeah, sure, sure. So um, we are still uh, implementing the state-of-the-art models on sentiment analysis uh, under Dan Sosa's advice. And moreover, we are getting, uh, we are, uh, Nathan indicates that he shall be done uh, uh, by uh, fingers crossed. So you said Twitter sentiments, the Twitter sentiment analysis is ongoing and you said you're going to have, and then you said someone else that I didn't hear it. Who's uh, working on that? We shall have, we shall, we shall have the, uh, Time to results. the, hydra the hydrated uh, tweets, uh, which Nathan is working on by tomorrow. Okay. Um, Oh, Okali, Dan, Isaac, Maya, Carla. Carla, would you like to say anything? Have you got any questions? You seem to be a new face, new name to me, so just figure to give you a chance to talk if you want to. Okay, has anybody got any questions or any um, any general things that we need to bring up or to need to be recorded on the daily call into the daily sheets? Okay then. Um, if there's anything, I've updated. The, I've updated the generally the general da daily progress docs for each team who talked. But if you feel like it's not clear, or if you need to put more into it, by all by all means, risk VT um, patient forecasting teams update them as you feel. Add as much clarity and detail as as, as important to you. Um, and uh, thank you very much for your coming, guys. And we'll see you tomorrow. And have a good good rest of your day. Thank you. Bye. Bye.